Being obese doubles the risk of hospital treatment from COVID-19 and increases the risk of dying by nearly 50%, a global analysis suggests. Being obese always increased the risk of death. I had a co-worker who was confirmed with COVID interacting with me at work as late as Monday. My boss told me it was business as usual until someone else gets sick. They're deaf not gonna pay my medical bills if I get sick, but I can't just not go to work without exhibiting symptoms, so I got tested today, now comes the wait. I am not qualified to weigh in on the subject, but beyond the obvious health benefits there is a benefit to being able to put a patient with lung problems on their stomach. When I was younger I used to sleep on my stomach. Now I am much older and fatter and I cannot do it. I recently did a test for sleep apnea and I found out that episodes don't happen to people who sleep on their stomachs, this is why your partner rolls you onto your stomach when you are snoring, if you have one of course. Being obese means you sleep on your back mainly. I have lost 24 pounds in the last couple of months due to wanting to avoid ending up wearing a Darth Vader mask all night, the COVID-19 thing is a big benefit as well. I've been using that as motivation to start running several times a week, and lifting weights several times a week. Then my area got hit with forest fires and smoke, straight face, I have asthma so I have to wait it out. Great cheer though. Anyone who is overweight and has a pair of shoes should get moving. Download an audiobook, podcast, music, something. Get out and walk a mile, then too. Or jog if you are able to. Don't cry for me, I'm already dead. Can confirm, work in COVID hospital. Almost every person on a ventilator is obese. Though this is true with most issues I see with patients I see, a lifelong bad diet can be hell on the body later down the road. To me it is sad when I see parents allow their children to eat slash drink whatever they want and do not discourage being overweight because it instills a lifestyle that can cause them lifelong health issues. I could not find absolute risk data in the study, it was all or, odds ratios, which may be great for determining statistical significance, but are not so helpful in determining clinical significance. i.e. if the or is 1. 5 for death, the risk of death is 50% higher than in the comparison group, or so I understand. But if the absolute risk of death is 1% in the comparison group and 1.5% in the obese group, I'm making up this data just to make the point, then the absolute risk difference is only 0. Saying the risk is 50% when the absolute risk increase is 0. 5% could be called misinformation but I don't know because the absolute risk data was not presented, or available. Backslash and I believe the overall infection fatality rate for COVID-19 is thought to be 1.3% or less backslash. This is the rookie mistake that the FDA boss made recently when touting convalescent plasma, the 30% improved survival was apparently a relative risk not an absolute risk, which was a much smaller number. So IFR for people under 50 is 0. 1% so if you are obese it is 0. 15% not to say it is not significant but I want to put it into perspective. Who would have thought that being unhealthy makes it harder to stay healthy? There's a reason I've dropped 10 kilograms in 6 weeks. Still got a long way to go though, at least another 20 kilograms. So another case of a compromised immune system making one more susceptible to COVID? You don't say. So the simple science is lose weight exercise and wear a mask and practice social distancing makes sense. Well it was a good run. Not that I would know about running. An Indonesian study showed that deficient levels of vitamin D3 make a person 10, 12 times more likely to die from COVID-19 than someone with sufficient levels of vitamin D3. And these levels are the paltry, absurdly low levels of the US medical community. Tell that to the obese smoker I know that isn't worried about COVID because she is healthy. Girl, you had pneumonia a year and a half ago. Get it together. Wow. A pre-existing condition increases the risk of death from COVID-19? Almost like we've known this since the beginning of the fucking pandemic. I picked a bad year to gain weight. Time to stopping stuffing my fat ass with delicious garbage. Problem with articles like this is never show the base numbers. 
for example 1% increased by 50% is only 1.5%, not noticeable outside of studies like this, but 50% increased by 50% would be 75%, everyone would see and feel that. Didn't we know this like 6 months ago? Doesn't being obese increase the risk of death with everything? I thought we knew this already. I'm part of a community that glorifies all body types, i.e. obese, and I want to yell at them that obesity will fucking kill them. But no, I can't even suggest that losing weight will help them with their multiple health issues without me being accused of weight shaming. Edit, apparently I offended a bunch of people with my comment. I am not saying to bully, shame, or tease someone who's obese. I am saying that people shouldn't see being obese as okay, much like smoking or drinking isn't okay. Normalizing obesity, and I do mean actual, medical obesity, is incredibly harmful. It gives people the excuse that it's okay to be obese, so they don't do anything about it. They shrug and say that they have a medical issue, and that's why they're obese and then they crack open their third can of soda for the day. The vast majority of medical issues are made much worse by obesity. You name it, heart problems, lung problems, back pains, joint pains, diabetes, even mental illnesses. An obese body is going to have a much harder time dealing with these problems. How can an obese person not be obese anymore? Eat less. Replace sodas with sparkling water. Start taking walks. Lift light weights. Do leg lifts. Sit-ups. Whatever they can handle. There's a million different ways to not be obese anymore, so, if I'm fat, I have a 150% chance of dying. Shit, I thought the bullying was bad enough. But what if I got fat from staying indoors all the time BC of COVID? I love hearing people debate about whether I deserve proper medical treatment on here. Yeah, being fat is unhealthy and causes you to get sick easier. Who would have guessed? Fun fact, being obese raises your risks for pretty much anything that is related to death. Maybe our officials should be pushing healthy lifestyle in addition to masks and distancing. Is this why America was hit hard by the virus? Deleted. Being alive increases the risk of dying by 100%. Is it a flat 50% increase or a 50% increase of the zero? Zero whatever percent chance. Uh oh Reddit is at risk now. This is another issue that I really believe could be helped with proper education. Why isn't food science and nutrition taught in any science class? The most they did when I was in school was point to the outdated food pyramid and read it to us. Loneliness had a much, much higher effect, even causes an immunity reduction. Plus it's global and ever-growing, rather than a limited group. It then causes depression which drives people to suicide, causes all sorts of unhealthy coping mechanisms while further bolstering isolation and unhealthy lifestyles. Pretty sure the isolation did more harm than obese people being obese, everyone included too. And being vitamin D deficient which obesity affects too. Just to make it clear it's a 50% increase, so like from 1% to 1. I was talking with some work colleagues the other day, all of them had been to Disneyland at some point in the past. The topic of conversation was how obese Americans get. Every country in the world has overweight people but the, the most jaw-dropping I have ever seen was in the US. There was a queue for mobility scooters. No one seemed disabled, they were just too big to walk. Edit, I'm from the UK. This just in, being obese increases the risk of death for the 27 millionth time. Stay tuned for more groundbreaking reporting at 11. COVID-19 doesn't give a fuck about body acceptance or fat but healthy. Removed. There are people that still believe that there is no correlation between weight and health and overlap with another group of people that believe that the laws of conservation of energy do not apply to them and regardless of their caloric intake they will always be fat due to genetics. Fat acceptance is delusional thinking, but if you try to bring this up you're just an asshole full of hate, racist, misogynist, adjectives, etc.